Okay guys, welcome back to Chaos, and today we're working on the return bike. So this bike we traded for a forklift. You probably know the story if you watch the video. They, the, Those people traded this for something, and then the people I got this from wrecked it. It got crashed right here in the front. You can tell the whole front fender shattered, so I'm going to put a different fender on it. And the headlights pulverized. And the fork's bent. So, and this little knob here is broken off. So we'll be trying to repair this for now to get it so it's rideable. And we also got a new front tire for it, sitting right there. And we're gonna go ahead and start wrenching on this thing, get it fixed, get it bent back. And eventually I'll probably replace these two forks because these are actually replaceable. You unbolt it here and loosen this up and that should just slide out. I'm probably gonna go ahead and take it out so I can bend this side back because you can see it just goes right there and bends right there at the end. I should be able to heat that and bend it back. I don't recommend doing that. This is for entertainment purposes only. All right, let's get to it. Alrighty, this is where we're at now. I got the fender bolted on. These bars bent back into place. They look a lot better. I've got to get a headlight for it. This fender is for a bike like this. So uh, it's got a few holes right here. I don't know what to do with. I might just throw some bolts in it. Or maybe try to get some rivets. Something to kind of give it a cool look. But the guy I got it from, he already had this cut, which I really like that. So that adds to it. So it's supposed to be rounded like that one. But I like it. It's a really tight fit. On the back, I might try to lower it a little bit. Because suspension doesn't give that much. So I could probably take it down to about right here. It would look fine. But that involves cutting right here and extending the welds. I'll do that later. Right now, it's just... Because I took it for a ride without the fender and it was throwing shit at me. It was okay on the street, but as soon as I took it off road, it started throwing stuff everywhere. So, not a big deal. I threw that fender on there. Works great. Just need to paint it. And paint that one to match. I'm probably going to go black. I'm thinking about blacking it out. I'm not sure. Not set on that color. If anybody has any ideas on colors for this. I wasn't planning on getting this bike back. So, kind of a cool surprise. I am probably going to be taking all this header wrap. What's left of the header wrap off. I'm getting it cleaned up. Might be able to do it real quick, actually. Because the original muffler, it completely sheared off. Can you tell that? It's... I don't know where the metal wire is twisted at. There we go. Yeah, those are some ugly welds. I did this before I got my stick welder pretty sure can't remember but either way this broke off one side to put a lot more weld on it probably gonna cut it right here and put a new muffler tip right back here it's kind of loud <laughs> this is supposed to be a cruiser i don't want it to get pulled over every 10 seconds Alrighty, let's go ahead and take it for a test drive see how it feels let's do it
but as you can see, it rides pretty darn good. I'm happy with it. So if you want to see more videos on it, let me know. And I am probably going to go ahead and change its name. It's no longer Joe Dirt. It is now Boomerang because it keeps coming back. So if you guys like that name, let me know. I think I should keep Joe Dirt is the name. I'll do that. Just let me know in the comments. All right, guys. See y'all next time, and don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe, and hit that little bell icon so it can notify you when I post a new awesome video. Alright, and we have merch in the link, so go down there, buy some stuff, support the channel, support the stuff I'm building, that way we can keep building, because right now I need to get batteries for this, and they're very expensive. Alright, see y'all next time, peace out.